On Tuesday the 3rd of September 1940, Britain was fighting for her very existence. In occupied Europe, a force of 50-plus Dornier 17 bombers, escorted by almost 150 Messerschmitt fighters, prepared to attack RAF North Weald, a fighter station protecting London. North Weald was a front-line Battle of Britain airfield in Essex. Aboard Dornier 17 U5AN of 5 KG2, 23-year-old Lieutenant Heinz Schilt and his three crew prepared for takeoff. Soon the German bomber force was airborne and forming up on its way to Essex. The intention was to put RAF Northweald out of action. The question was, could the RAF stop them? Soon the large force of German bombers crossed the English coast. They headed confidently inland towards their assigned targets. As the pilots and navigators concentrated on getting to the targets, the air gunners prepared to meet any RAF fighters. But the alert had already gone out to the hurricanes of number 17 Squadron RAF, based at Debden. These young fighter pilots immediately scrambled. By 0930 hours, three hurricanes of Green Section No. 17 Squadron had scrambled from Debden. They soon intercepted Lieutenant Schultz Dornier 17 over the Blackwater estuary between Colchester and Molden. Schultz was soon in serious trouble with three hurricanes blazing away. After quickly jettisoning their bombs, the German crew returned fire as best they could. But it proved to be a very unequal struggle. The Dornier was struck by hundreds of 303 Browning rounds. The Hurricanes, ignoring the return fire, stayed on the Dornier's tail, pumping rounds into the German plane. One of the German crew, Feldwebel Kreigel, managed to bail out before the plane went out of control. The Dornier entered a terminal dive over the small villages of Langenhoe and Abberton, Essex. The plane disintegrated on impact, killing the other three members of the crew. This is the exact spot where the Dornier landed, a huge crater left behind that is visible even today. The three Germans who died were Leutnant Schilt, Unteroffizier Schwindeck and Gefreiter Nigisch. Their remains were buried at the crash site by investigators. Unlike other German graves, they were never disinterred and reburied at Cannock Chase. So the Battle of Langenhoe is probably unique in that 77 years later, three German airmen still lie beside the remains of their plane in a quiet corner of eastern England. There is, interestingly, a marker to this Battle of Britain struggle by the Langenhoe Village School, a sign that incorporates the carved effigy of a German airman in full flying uniform. <laughs> 